One of the jobs that uh, I want to do are these rear hydraulic stays for the tailgate. They've gone a bit on the rusty side. So I'm going to give them a flat down, give them a paint. And I'll see in a bit. I don't know if you remember the gas struts on the back of the tailgate had gone rusty. Um, I've took them off, give them a bit of a flat, and now I'm uh, repainting them so they look tidier when you open the tailgate. You know what they say? The devil's in the detail. As you can see, the bumper has returned and um, I've just got to do a little bit of fettling on a couple of uh, areas um, that are not quite right. The colour is as close as we can get it. Um, the finish is much better than the standard finish for a start. Um, the headlights that was all chipped, they're all done. They look lovely. And I've also had the lower lip painted in black, which will tie in with the uh, bonnet vents that I've done black. And the mirrors are, bottom end of the mirrors are black. And I think it makes it look a little bit more sporty. So, I'm going to repolish the uh, front of the wings and do the bumper, polish the bumper again. Um, these little bits of flatting that they forgot to polish, I'm going to do them and then clean all the, the paste and that from the body shop, as you can see. You know, it requires uh, the finishing touches. Everything's been stripped out. Um, nothing's been masked off. Everything's been out. Um, and the job has uh, been done properly. But uh, this is your typical body shop stuff. But they knew I was going to refinish it anyway. So... I better get on, get it done. That'll look good when it's all, all done and all clean. I've still got a ceramic coat the front, so uh, we'll go over it again and uh, get it prepared. But I'm happy with the finish on the, this time. It's no stone chips. Lovely and smooth, just how it should be. Very, very slight colour difference, but all bumpers are slightly different. And after six spray cards, it was the closest we could get it. Right, I better get on it. Okay. I've repolished the bumper and uh, cleaned all the edges of everything but now I've got these grills to clean and there's grills in there grills down there and they've all got to be clean so I'm gonna get on with it Just using an all-purpose cleaner and a barbecue skewer. Making sure I get in the uh, all the corners 
where the dirt's going to sit. Let's just clean that. Probably get my finger in these to be fair, they're quite big slots, and that's what I'll probably do. And just uh, use that the barbecue skewer in the tighter little ones. Yeah. around the edges all clean so that's the first view done so I suppose I'll be spending the next half an hour three quarters of an hour doing all of them so now you've seen when we say we've got to do the uh, fingering work or the tooth pickery this is what we mean Right, I'll see you when it's finished. Now if you can uh, see the difference it's making. But it uh, looks a damn sight better when they're clean, that's for sure. Right, there's the two main grills nice and clean and that's the next one and then I've got the same on the other side to do you can see all the dust and paste and everything from the body shop but it'll look like that when it's done right so I'm just preparing myself ready for the ceramic coating on the uh, bumper and bonnet front wings but as you can see the stone chips are showing up quite prominently because they've got trapped um, compound in the chips now this has been multiple times wiped with panel wipe so what I'm going to do now is I've got a long haired microfiber uh, finishing pad and just plain water and I'm going to go over the bonnet now um, and hopefully remove some of that trap paste so that um, the stone chips aren't so prominent I've done this area here and there are obviously still stone chips but it, don't stand out half as much as the bit I haven't done. So I'm just going to continue around the bonnet and uh, try and relieve the stone chips of this paste. And then it'll be wiped off with panel wipe again. And then I could start ceramic coating. Um, we are getting to the end of the detail. Um, it's been a while coming. But that's been down to the bumper being done. But uh, as you can see, lots and lots of stone chips in the bonnet. Probably could have done with repainting, but perhaps that's for a later date. Right, I'll see you shortly.
will notice I've got absolutely no pressure on the polish there whatsoever because I want the hair on the microfiber to find the holes or the stone chips and get the air in there to try and loosen up the paste. Now I'm coming at the chips from different directions to give the air a chance to uh, get in. I don't expect to get everything out of them. But if I get half of them not to come in and you know I can't go in the week. Right, before it all dries up, and give it a white pop. It has made some difference. Obviously you can still see the stone chips that have gone through to the primer. But at least I know there's nothing there that can be removed. You know, I don't want to put ceramic on knowing that there's paste there that may come away. Um, so I'm just going to carry on round the bonnet. Um, you know, I'll do more than one hit. <coughs> Every little bit helps. And um, then I'll be ready for ceramic coating. So, I'll see you a little bit later when I'm ready to put the coatings on.
beautiful.